the topic is refraction of light through a prism so here we are having one prism so we have to cap one prism on a cardboard on a paper so this is our triangle prism which is equilateral prism also right so it have two sides in front of us and towards the board right? now what we have to do we have to draw that prism on that paper after that uh, we have to put two pins here like this this is p and this is q after removing that pins from that board we have to draw one line so now that line is known as incident ray so this is our incident ray right so uh, here i have to draw incident ray uh, like uh, some extent towards the base so here i have to put two points p and q right so this is our incident ray okay now just put those pins again again we have to put prism here and now we have to see that prism from here when you see that prism from here you can see that pq line which is from in this direction so actually pq are here but if you see from here you can observe that pq is in this direction is in straight line because of that refraction here it will shows us pq here now you have to do you have to put one pin which is r you have to put that r that q and p you can't see from here you can only see r so you have to place this place that r pin like that that p and q hide behind this pin so you have to place that pin like that q and p hide behind this r you can only see r only again we have to put another pin like that you can see only that pin from here that you can't see r q and p that you have to place that s pin here right and now you have to draw that line again so this is your after getting refraction from here that line so rs is that line now two times refraction occurs here this is normal drawn to the surface this is also normal drawn to the surface so these are normals right now see here this is if i am drawing further line it will go towards in this direction right so this is if without prism that line moves in this direction right now if i am drawing this line which is behind so like this so now i am going to write all the angles first pq this line with normal is our incident angle after getting refraction from normal this is our refracted angle so i have to put r1 again in this direction so it will goes to towards this direction and i am drawing to normal so this is r2 and this is incident incident light for this second refraction and after getting refracted from here with the normal it will again gives us emergent ray so i have to put it as emergent angle so this is our emergent ray so i have to write here incident ray this is our emergent ray this is our refracted ray right now i r1 r2 e now here angle of deviation what is deviation of angle so if there are there is no prism this incident ray will go further but because of that that ray is moving in this direction so the angle between those two means here these two angle this is incident ray and this is emergent ray so angle between between those two is known as angle of deviation so here pq is incident ray rs is emergent ray q uh, and uh, sorry here 
I have to write uh, A and uh, B. AB is called uh, refracted ray. Okay. Now angle I is called uh, incident angle. Then uh, R1 is called refracted angle. Then angle R2 again it is called incident angle. Then E is called emergent angle. Then capital D angle capital D is called deviation angle. Right. Uh, so all angles and all the things are here. So that is called refraction of light through a prism. 